What is up everybody, welcome back to Merge, and today we're going to be doing an album review of the EP album from Brick and Mortar Bangs. Now Brick and Mortar, they are a band of two guys. Now they are, one thing I really like about them is they haven't really hit big yet. There are not a lot of people that really know about them. Um, th their sound goes really away from a mainstream look. Uh, it's still kind of has that little hint, but if you look at it as a whole, they rely, um, this is what I really like about them, they rely more on, um, synthesizers, and it's not necessarily, like, electronic music, but it's just, like, background. It's, it's, it, it's, uh, background to what they play. Uh, the two people in the band, uh, they're only two guys, they're, um, their best friends, their name are Brandon Astroff and, uh, John Ticon, I believe that's how you pronounce their names. Uh, Brandon Astro, he's the lead singer. He does vocals, he does bass, and he does guitar. Uh, and John Tacon, he does drums and the, synth the synthesizer. So the first song of the album, Bangs, is actually the song Bangs. And this is kind of um, a little bit of a heavier song. Uh, not like it's really like intense, like Screamo or anything. But it's just uh, really intense, as in it, it has a darker mood than a lot of their stuff. But it, honestly, it is freaking awesome. If you listen for it in the chorus after the singing, you can hear the synthesizer that they use, and they do rely heavily on that, as you'll see it later in the other songs that we're going to be reviewing. Alright, so the second song of the album is called Locked in a Cage, and why this song is awesome is because it has um, a mood, and it just makes you feel, and the music video uh, very much helps with that. It gives you the feeling that it's just kind of like, you're kind of losing it, like like you're in an insane asylum. It kind of has that kind of feel to it, as you're going to see right now. song of this album is called Heatstroke, and honestly guys, it is awesome. Mainly, I keep saying that for every song, but it, it all is just really good when it's put together. Um, but why this song is just outstanding is because if you look past um, the singing, the instruments, the drum work is amazing in this song uh, that I feel, it, and everything as it collaborates together, uh, it's just so... It just works, and that that's what really goes for this song. The lyrics are kind of like you don't. I I, I don't know what the lyrics uh, really mean, but it, everything that when it collaborates together, it just sounds awesome. Next song on this list is honestly a true. Struck of ge stroke of genius. Uh, it's called Old Boy, and it is outstanding. Um, the lyric, the just the the vibe that you get from it is kind of like you're running a marathon, and we like this is like the vibe that I kind of pick up. Um, it, it's like you're running a marathon, and um, it's just like you're just always you're just getting like more pumped up as you go along, and it, it's just really great. And then when you come to the end of this song, it just it, it ends, where, but not like where it just kind of like drifts off. It's just like it ends, and then it's the next song that you're playing on your, on your track. And then it's just really great, guys. I, this song is just perfect. This song's perfect. It doesn't matter what I do or I say. I've never ever seen the gate as a dancer. He lives a hundred thousand miles away. I can't decide if he's a mental relation. I can't be the best. Still I hold on to hold me the best. All right. So the song after this, uh, I believe for the fifth song now, it's called No, I Won't Go. And this song, it, it's really it's really great. There isn't a bad song in this album, and I, I mean that full intently. In, intense. I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say, though, is it's... The, I, I love music, and I love to just listen to music and just appreciate it and all that it is. If there is a bad song, I, I don't, I don't, like, avoid that. Like, I, I don't say that that's a great song. I, I don't say it's a bad song either, but I don't shy away from the fact that it that it's not the best. But this 
album. It just everything in it works so great. And this is one of the songs that really just kind of like brings it together. And this is one of the songs that I feel it, it represents brick and mortar as a whole. And it's called uh, No, I Won't Go. I think I already said that. Yeah. Um, and it's really great mainly because it just... It just has that kind of tune that can get stuck in your head, and um, it's not hollow. It's not a hollow tune. That that was a reference. If if you get this band, uh, but um, eh, sorry. Anyways, uh, it just it gets stuck in your head, and it's one of those songs that just stays there. It feels like it could become mainstream, but it just they're not that well known. So it it, it that's one of the reasons that it's not. But to those who do know it, they just love it. The song's amazing. Alright guys, now we're time to that part, we're at that part, we're at that, we're at that time, gosh, time in the album where you get to the part where it starts to like fall, but not where it's like it gets bad, just where it starts to like slow down, and it's kind of like in a movie where like the hero rises and then he falls, it's, it's like that in albums, it's basically like that in every album, this is the one song that it's like that, and it's called Keep This Place Beautiful, this song is really good, I really like the meaning of it, um, I, I, I think I've said this before, no, I don't think I've said this before in a video, but I say this to, like, my, um, my friends, like, this, the band, they, they just kind of, like, remind me of stoners, I don't know why, like, they, they just kind of look like they'd be that way, but they're not, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're not, uh, but in this song, it's like, all the, the lyrics at a point, and I, I think I'll be playing that, is, uh, it says, it says, like, we could get high, or we could change the world, and, like, turn all the bad things into good things, um, if, if we just try to, and, um, I think that's really, really um, cool because that's saying like there's so much stuff that we could do, or we could just try to put our efforts into making something just beautiful, and we could just um, try to preserve the world for what it is. And um, and like th when they say that, I think that also um, refers to music in a way as saying like let's keep the music as good as it can be. And the song, it's like it's a low song, but it's just like if you listen to it, it just kind of like make it just pumps you up to just want to do something more. And it, that that's just kind of like the thing you get from the song. Just You just want to do more. Alright guys, the final song of this album is called Terrible Things. And when I play it for you, I'm going to be playing it from the beginning. Because the beginning... All the song is amazing, but the beginning I just love. It just like you get when it starts, you get kind of the feeling that you're at a circus. And when I play it, you're gonna understand what I mean. Uh, but when you just listen to it, it's just awesome. And when you listen to it, it I I get but 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 you when you listen to this, you're probably gonna get different lyrics from what they say at the beginning. Like I know I I talk to lots of people. I'm like here, what do you think they're saying? And it's like different things. I thought they said they bent my sleigh. This is off topic from what I'm trying to say, but what they're saying at the beginning is deep in my sleep. Just wanted to let you that, wanted to let you know that, just because that was driving me crazy. Um, but the song, it's really good, and it's a really good ending song because it just like it kind of just circulates throughout your head, and the vibe of this just circulates throughout your head. Um, it just. It's just such a perfect way to end a song. Album. Now my favorite song of this album has to be Old Boy. It's just... It's, it just feels such an ins like an, such an inspired song, and it just feels like a song that's just gonna uh, it, it's gonna never get old for anybody. And you can just constantly listen to it, and it never gets old for you. My least favorite song of this album would have to be "Keep This Place Beautiful." Not because it's a bad song. Don't get me wrong. It, it's a beautiful, perfect song. It's just it doesn't it since it, like it doesn't like the 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 feel of it doesn't seem to keep up with the rest of the album. That just keeps it just keeps wanting to go. It's more of just kind of like. It, it wants you to, it's like, it's like if you're not feeling the album, it just seems like it's a song that would, like, 
make you feel the album. So like it's it's very important to the album, and it's not bad at all. I I still give every song of this a ten out of ten. It just if I had to pick one song that it's my least favorite, that would be it. Right, guys, now that was the review of uh, this album Bangs from Brick and Mortar. Uh, if you guys have an album. Uh, that you want me to review, I'm not going to be reviewing pop, because I hate pop. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to. Uh, but if you have any band that you want me to review, uh, I, I'll try to do that. Uh, I'll listen to it for a while, and I'll let you guys know my feedback. But until next time, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye, lovers and friends, so sad to leave.